In this activity, we're going to make a pop rocket. Uh, so for that, you'll need uh, some water, um, a film canister, um, and you can get these from any store that develops um, old type of film, uh, and they usually recycle these, so you can get them for free. But if you can't get that, um, you can always use the container in which the vitamin C tablets come in. Um, so we're going to use a vitamin C for this. Uh, any brand at all will do fine. So the first thing you need to do is just take the lid off the film canister, which I've done here, and then take one of the tablets out of the vitamin C box. And you won't need a full tablet for this. Uh, to get this to work, you only need really half a vitamin C tablet. Uh, so I've broken that here. And you're going to place about a quarter of the thing filled with water. To start with, you can experiment with this, and that's part of the fun with this activity, is, is seeing what happens if you put more and more water into it and seeing what happens. So if you take the half of the tablet, now I'm not going to do it here because I'm inside at the moment, but you want to go outside for this, uh, put this into the film canister, put the lid on, snap it down. Now make sure it snaps, you need to hear that pop. You give it a quick shake, turn it upside down, uh, leave it down on the ground, and when you do, uh, this thing will pop. And it goes quite high. Uh, this would go about this, the height of a two-story building. Uh, so you need to make sure that, that the, the kids and everybody stays well back from it when it pops. Now, it, it's only a very light thing, so when it comes down, it doesn't usually cause any problems. So to vary it a little bit, what you can do is uh, try this with a quarter filled, then maybe with half filled and three quarter filled. And do the same experiment with half a tablet and see how high it goes. What you should find is the more water you put into it, um, uh, the, it doesn't go as high. That's because you've added extra weight uh, to the film canister and that's why it uh, doesn't go up that high. But you should try that out. Uh, the other thing you could do is if you can't get this film canister, you can use the um, the vitamin C container. Uh, but in this case, the actual container uh, is a, a little bit too heavy. So if you do it this way and try to get it to pop, this will sometimes pop, but I, I've never found that very successful. Uh, but if you do it the opposite direction in this case, that the lid pops off, um, then that will work quite well. So you hold this, uh, make sure it's not pointed at anybody, or you can actually leave it down on the ground, it's not a problem. This thing will pop off um, and the thing will stay on the ground. The um, vitamin C container will stay on the ground. For this, you will probably need um, a, a little bit more water and you would also need a full tablet. So take a full tablet, break it into quarters and put it in there to get this to work. One of the other things you can do is um, with the film canister or the vitamin C canister is you can put a little bit of art in there. So I've um, just put a little bit of paper around the film canister in this case. Uh, I've put paper wings on it and uh, I have put a little nose cone. In the end, it looks a little bit like a pencil, uh, but it is a pencil rocket. really. Uh, so you can put a little bit of art. Now, when you do this uh, and make sure that you're um, doing it on the up, uh, the film canister upside down because this thing is going to pop and the lid will stay on the ground. Uh, the other thing is when you're getting the uh, film canisters, make sure it's actually the clear ones, um, not the black ones. The, there are black ones with grey lids and they haven't a very good seal and they don't work very well. Just to explain the science uh, behind the pop rocket, uh, when you put the um, vitamin C tablet into the water, what happens is it effervescence, that means it breaks down and it releases a gas. These little bubbles that come off when you, when you see it added to water, that's carbon dioxide, the same sort of bubbles you would have in a soft drink. Uh, now what happens is when you put this into a glass, normally when you're drinking this, uh, it's not a problem because the bubbles just go into the air and that's not a real problem. But in this case, because the container is completely closed, these bubbles come along and keep hitting the uh, bottom of the um, film canister and they put a force on the on the bottom of the film canister and when that enough bubbles come and hit that uh, then that force is the thing that makes the thing pop and go higher now uh, depending on how much um, how much of a tablet you put in you get that force quicker so if you put in a full tablet you would get more bubbles obviously um, and it would it would pop 
faster. It mightn't go any higher because this film canister will pop at the same, what's called pressure. When enough bubbles, let's say 100 bubbles hit the top per second, then this will pop. If you put in a full tablet in there, you'll get 100 seconds, sorry, 100 bubbles um, per second very quickly. It'd be in the first second, but if you put half a tablet, it might take two or three seconds to do that. But it won't go any higher um, because the same force will be on it as it pops up. I hope you liked our pop rocket activity. If you'd like to see more of these science activities, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the uh, red button at the bottom of your screen. Thank you very much for watching our video.